Hey everyone, this is Rajendran here and in this video we're gonna learn how to transmit your broker data into AMI broker every one minute once and uh, how we can get the updated real-time intraday data into my AMI broker. Right, so if you understand AMI broker supports and uh, universal uh, SQL plugin. So what we are gonna do is like we're gonna store the broker data uh, into SQLite and from SQLite we're gonna transmit it to into AMI broker. For that we need an uh, SQLite uh, ODBC connectivity. So I'm gonna go to uh, Google and then I'm gonna type like ODBC SQL SQLite. That's what I'm gonna say here, SQLite. So that will be going to this website, ch-werner.de, that's the first one. So you, I'm gonna click on this link. It's an HTTP link, it's not HTTPS. So sometimes you may get a browser warning also. So otherwise you might be getting this not secure kind of things. So here you have to go and download the uh, SQLite ODBC 64-bit. Uh, Maybe if you're using 32-bit, you have to use that and then uh, download it and install it, right? So you, you can install it. So once this is installed, in my case, it is in already installed. Um, so all you have to do is like just install it. So in my case, as I said, it is installed. This SQLite ODBC connectivity is installed. And once this is installed, I'm going to go to ODBC. So just type ODBC in your uh, Windows uh, search box and get this ODBC data sources 64 bit. I'm going to open that, right? So here I am going to map my SQLite database. So first I have to go and create my SQLite database. What I'm going to do is like I'll go and run open algo. So here is my uh, editor. So from the editor I'm going to run uh, open algo. So I'm running using UV method. So UV run app.py. That's the fastest method by the way. So once uh, your open algo is running, right? So let's go and uh, log into open algo. In my case, I had already logged in. So 127, I'll go and log into open algo. And straight away, I'll go to the API key section. I'm gonna copy the API key. I'll come back to my editor. So from here, I'll go to the download section. So in this download section, we have the sample.env file. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna uh, probably duplicate it. Let's say like I'll, uh, copy it and then I'll paste it. I'm going to rename the file as .env and in this .env I'm going to replace this your openalgo API key with, the, with my API key which I received from my openalgo. So let me paste it. So which is done. So this is if I'm going to run uh, the SQLite downloader over here which is going to generate an uh, amibroker.db file right so let's do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate i'll go to the folder name cd space strategies now i'm going to type uv run so not strategies but probably i have to go to download folder so cd space download and here i'm going to run uv run so if in case if you want to use uv you have to do pip install uv that will be installing uv so maybe uh, you have to install UV before if you want to use the UV method. If you don't know the UV method, you can always use the regular Python uh, Python uh, method to run the application. So I'm going to run UV run followed by that uh, SQLite downloader. Now what this is going to do is like this is going to fetch the data of the stocks. The list of stocks you can find over here, symbols.list, what are the stocks list that you are having. Right now it is coded only for uh, equity symbols. So equity symbols, if you are uh, having any data that will be fetching the data into the application. So this will be keep on storing the data in an uh, amibroker.db. So it's gonna keep downloading those data. I'm gonna keep it in the db folder. As you can see like amibroker.db is getting created. Now it, our job is to um, create a, a mapping to this amibroker.db from our ODBC connectivity. So I'll add this, uh, uh, I'll go to the, click on add. From here I'll find the SQLite 3 ODBC driver, finish. And I have to map uh, the source name. I'm gonna give like uh, AMI SQLite. The name can be anything. Database name, I'm gonna map it from where I'm having this, uh, path so the d drive python open source web socket open algo so i have to go and map the 
uh, folder so i'll go to d drive i go to python i go and so here is the ami broker just find the ami broker uh, path press ok and then uh, map it so once the mapping is done now next uh, it is time to map in the ami broker database so i'll go to ami broker database i'll go to file new i'm going to create a new database i'll give a name i'll say like sqlite db sqlite db nse the name can be anything i'm going to click on create under the data source i have to go and select the odbc sqlite uh, universal data plugin ensure that uh, local data storage is enabled number of bars i'm going to map it for timing as like 25000 bars and one minute interval is what i'm going to have so more if you want to store more intraday data you can give more number of bars maybe something like 75000 bars or something right and now go to the configuration settings from here pick up the odbc source go to the machine data source select the ami sqlite and press okay right and that should be loading up the odbc and uh, ensure that uh, you are selecting the table name so select the stock data here and retrieve all symbol that should be fetching all the symbols whatever the symbols are present in the database that will be getting fetched and press okay and press okay so if everything goes well we should be seeing like uh, uh, you should be able to see the data is coming into the charts as you can see like the charts are getting updated the updated charts has been updating over here so it will be keep updating and and also ensure that go to file database again one more settings i forgot to say so you also have to ensure that the requery database every 5 seconds ensure that this is enabled so that every 5 seconds once it will be looking for a new data since it is a one minute candle the broker will be updating only on a every one minute basis only so whenever there is a new update is happening uh, from the open algo it will be pushed to the database from the database will be coming into your ami broker instantly it will not be taking much of a time here so that is how we can uh, uh, go and select the database right so as you can see like every one minute once the data will be updating so on a daily basis if in case if you want to get the real time data probably uh, you have to uh, open ami broker open open algo uh, run the setup so that uh, you will be start getting the list of you can see that there is a new update has been happened over here it's been keep updating every 5 seconds once whenever there is a new update automatically the update will be keep coming into uh, ami broker right and that will be happening for all the symbols but right now Uh, the limitation is like the script is designed to run only for nse only but uh, you can modify the script according to your need maybe if you want uh, for nfo or currencies or commodities anything can be done um, no additional plugin or no additional license nothing is required directly your data from your broker will be streamed directly into your uh, uh, ami broker so i hope uh, this video gives you a uh, clean idea about how you can stream broker data into ami broker so see you soon with more interesting video thank you bye bye